Let's take a look at the sales of innate and adaptive immunity. So let's start with innate immunity. Remember, this is the immunity which does not improve over time. These cells do not have memory and specificity like you see with the lymphocytes. They're what go under the adaptive. So you've seen these cells of innate immunity before. <clears throat> Here are the neutrophils, the most common and abundant of all the white blood cells. These cells die after one phagocytic event, so they don't live for very long, but they are very abundant. That's what generally an accumulation of pus is, is an accumulation of these dead white blood cells. Monocytes, you've seen these before, the largest of all your white blood cells. They don't stay in the blood long. They'll leave the blood, enter right into the tissues where they'll enlarge and become a macrophage. And these are seen with chronic infections because they don't die after one phagocytic event. They're going to keep consuming whatever it is you don't want in the body. These are also very important in processing antigens and activating the B and T cells. There we have the basophil. These cells, which once they leave the blood and enter a tissue, is then called a mast cell. <clears throat> and these cells are where most inflammatory chemicals come from right here. So these are huge when it comes to inflammation. They cause vasodilation and increase the permeability of blood vessels. Eosinophils. Now, these will release chemicals that keep the inflammatory chemicals isolated. That way, they don't spread too far around the body. Looking at these cells of innate immunity a little bit more, they'll be attracted to things like inflammatory chemicals, and maybe even parts and pieces of foreign invaders like bacteria by the process of chemotaxis. Notice how the first part, chemo, sounds a little like chemical. It's the process by which white blood cells follow chemical trails back to the source of something. The source of what? Something that does not belong in the body. <clears throat> so there's your neutrophils and your macrophages, your big phagocytic cells, just as we've seen before. There are your basophils and your mast cells. Again, these are the ones which are responsible for inflammation. And then there's the eosinophils, which again, keep those inflammatory chemicals isolated. And eosinophils will also kill some worm parasites. Under innate immunity, often these natural killer cells, which are a type of lymphocyte, are put with the innate. I believe they go with the adaptive and should be left there. They weren't specific enough for some people, but I like to leave them with the adaptive immunity. Here's the adaptive immunity right here. <clears throat> now look at what we've got in this one through nine. All different types of B and T cells right here. Again, here's your lymphocytes. Now your B cells are largely going to tra change, transform into B plasma cells and B memory cells. The B plasma cells produce the antibodies, so you can't stress the importance of those enough. The B memory cells are going to remember after they've destroyed a particular antigen how to do it. They won't have to relearn. That way the second exposure will trigger the antibody production far faster. It'll go from say days and weeks down to hours and you'll destroy a foreign invader <clears throat> before you ever knew it was there. The cytotoxic T cells can lyse cells. They form holes in their cell walls. Water will move in and that'll destroy whatever that cell is. Also, they produce cytokines. Here are the delayed hypersensitivity Ts, producing cytokines also. The helper Ts, activating the Bs and Ts. The suppressor Ts, inhibiting the Bs and Ts when needed. Here are the memory T cells. They won't forget how to destroy a particular antigen. First time they figure it out, may take several days or a few weeks, but these will ensure that you don't have to learn it a second time and you can destroy something much faster. And then here are the dendritic cells processing antigens for the activation of the Bs and Ts. And again, there's the natural killer cells at the bottom, and there's the links to the study guides.